All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, Lavalam Yom. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who teach me what his last days and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the occupants of the four corners of the earth, which is what the truth and sincerity, making the call and listen sure. And I want to give a humble salutation to the elect of the nation of Israel, tuning in to the four corners of the earth, wherever your habitation may be at. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a quick lesson of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. I want to say to Wadi Yahab Bashim and Shai for giving the spirit through this lesson. And um, I just want to go into, uh, you know, I was watching the the, 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 uh, the elder Yasha Wamba's uh, uh, lesson. And, um, you know, his his uh, his page is, is titled Remnant Remnant Save 144. Hey, so that, that kind of inspired me to do a lesson on the on the on the remnant. All right. So, you know, what is what is the remnant? All right. The remnant is the, the the men, women, and children that are going to be saved through the mercy of Yahweh Bashi Okay, now they're going to be uh, and 144,000 uh, chosen men that was chosen from the foundation of the world to be the to be the uh, to the, to be the governing body. All right, the joint areas where Yahweh Shai, but then you're also going to have uh, a large men of uh, uh, like a large multitude of men, women, and children that are going to be saved. Okay. By by the works of their husband, okay, and you're gonna have some women that are, that uh, some women and children that are gonna be saved without a husband, but that's gonna be uh, you know uh, you know uh, a special case, okay. So it's not it's not impossible, but you're gonna have a lot of a lot of uh, women that, that will be saved uh, as part of that uh, that uh, righteous one third, okay. Because what is the uh, what did you know? Let's go this, to this real quick. Uh, I just have what I said. Told the Pharisees that the uh, harlots would get into the kingdom before before the uh, before the Pharisees. Okay. Uh. Here, trying to see where I want to start at. Let's just get to the point. Matthew 21 and verse 31. Uh, whether of them twain did uh, uh, the will of his father, they say they say unto him the first, Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of the heavenly father before you. Okay? So they're going to be people that that are uh, that are not, you know, uh, keeping the, the law, statutes, and commandments, right? But their faith of Yahweh Shai is what's going to save them. Okay, so the the, the Pharisees were the ones who uh, were keeping the law, 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 you know, and and, and and inspected everybody else and thought that the law was going to save them. All right, but in actuality, the law is not going to save us. Okay. And there are people out here that's going to be saved by their faith. They're going to, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to, they may not get what's, what's going on, you know, with, with, uh, repenting all the way, but Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to have mercy on them. Why? Because of their faith. All right. They may hear the word, they may believe, but they may not do everything that's required of them, but it's still enough. Okay. So these are, so, so the, the, the har so they're going to be harlots, you know, they're going to be children. That's going to be part of that, that, that righteous one third, the remnant that the most high is going to have mercy on. All right, so let's go to uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 10. And verse 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, Yasharala, and such as are escaped of the house of Yaquab, shall no more again stay up uh, upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Yasharala in truth. Okay, and that remnant is the uh, the the the, uh, the 144,000 elect men, okay, and the righteous one third. Okay, because they're going to stay upon Yahweh Bashim Yashai in truth. Okay, and what's that truth? Is the faith. Okay, we're saved by faith. Alright, but we keep the we keep the works, we do the works to exemplify our faith, to 
to uh, separate ourselves from from other people. Okay, that's important. Okay, and there's there's going to be the, the, the righteous, uh, the hundred forty four thousand men are going to are going to have works and faith. Okay, and then the and then the remnant the uh, the remnant one third are is is going to want the ones who's going to have uh, the most high is going to have mercy on. All right. It says, verse 21, the remnant shall return, okay? The remnant is going to return to Yahweh Bashim to the uh, to the faith and the obedience of Yahweh Bashim okay? It says, even the remnant of Yaquab unto the mighty power. For though thy people, Yasharala, be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, okay? So, so the, the uh, so yeah, uh, how Bashim Yashah promised Abraham that his seed, that his seed would be as the sand of the sea, okay? Meaning the, the Israelites, okay? Because many, because Abraham had uh, had many seeds, all right. But the but the chosen seed would be as the sand of the sea. Why? Because we were scattered amongst all these nations. Now we don't we don't you know even though we have the the uh, the twelve tribes uh, sign, okay? We under we understand, you know that there that there are. Uh, People scattered in all in all over the four corners of the earth. Okay, so this is going to be a remnant out of all nations, man. And scripture say that 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 he will. Uh, you know what? Let's go to it real quick. Isaiah eleven. And let's start at verse ten. It says, "And in that day there should be a root of Jesse." Okay, and that root is is Yahweh Shai. Okay, because Jesse. Uh, Jesse had King David Okay And out of the loins of King David came Yahweh Shai Okay that, that lineage It says and in, and in that day there shall be a root of Jesse Which shall stand for an ensign of the people To it shall the Gentiles seek And his rest shall be glorious See we we were that, that those Gentiles Okay that Gentile uh, state of mind Paul talked about that That we were, we, that we were once Gentiles uh, Seeking after dumb idols Okay, but now we we return to the obedience of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, but there's still people that still has to come come uh, come into the knowledge of the truth. Okay, there's still Gentiles out there that still that still need to be converted. All right, it says, and the Gentiles are the are the natural Gentiles are the other nations, but there there are the uh, the Gentiles that are speaking of in this point. Or in, in, in this in this uh, scripture are the the Israelite foreigners, okay? The Israelites with a Gentile mind state. All right, it says verse eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set His hand again the second time to recover the remnant of His people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from and from Hamath and from the the islands of the sea, okay? So, the, these, this is where the, uh, the, a lot of these, uh, well, some of these people, the remnant that's going to be chosen, the righteous one third, maybe, uh, you know, the 144,000 elect men, they're going to be uh, reco uh, recovered from these, from these lands. Okay? So, everything is not going to be, uh, you know, uh, on the 12 tribes chart because that's where the Israelites are generally scattered to. Okay? The mass, the mass exodus will happen out of, uh, you know, North and South America. Okay, but there's still uh, uh, Israelites all over the world, man. You know, so this is this is the, the remnant that's gonna be, that's gonna be, uh, you know, uh, be be caught up from these places. Okay, let's go to, uh, to Matthew twenty-four. Uh, 31 oh, Let's see where I want to start at Uh, 
Let's start at verse 29. It says immediately, immediately as, and this is a good chapter to read. Okay, this is a, 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 a prophetic chapter. Yahweh Shah is talking about uh, about the end times. Okay, so we go down to uh, verse twenty nine, Matthew twenty four and twenty nine. It says immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall far fall from heaven, and the powers of the earth shall be shaken. Okay, and what is that? That's that's talking about. The uh, the end times, okay, the destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great, okay, the stars falling from heaven are, are talking about those nuclear missiles, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, okay. That means that that uh, that these 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 missiles are going to be hitting certain certain parts of the world, okay, mainly Babylon the Great. All right, and it says. And then shall appear the son of the son of man in heaven. Okay, so Yahweh Shah is going to be uh, going to come back in the midst of World War Three. Okay, as the destruction is hitting, the Yahweh Shah and the host of heaven, the armies of heaven, are going to be coming uh, simultaneously and 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 and, uh, and and doing work, man. All right, delivering the, delivering his elect. Okay, his chosen, while also putting Esau where he should be, man. And these other nations, okay? Uh, in Revelation, it says that uh, on his head he had many crowns because he's coming, because Yahweh Shah is coming to conquer all these nations, man. Not some, not one, but all of these nations, man. Okay, and then the kingdom, of, uh, the kingdom of heaven, which would be the rulership of the Israelites, will be established on earth under Yahweh Shai and in the, uh, in, the, in the tabernacle of David. Okay, under Yahweh Shai. It says in uh, verse thirty. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Okay? So all so all every nation is gonna be mourning, man. Alright? Because they know that it's, it's a wrap. Because they don't believe, man. You know, some of these nations believe, you know, un understand, like Esau knows what's gonna happen. You know, maybe some of these elites from the other other nations know what's gonna happen. You know, and that's why they're trying to stop the inevitable. You know, but a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, the regular people of these other nations and the regular Edomites, they don't know what's going on, man. They, they believe in Christianity. They think that, that there's going to be some type of, you know, rapture and everybody that believes on the good old name J uh, Jesus Christ is going gonna, is gonna to get raptured up, man. That's, that's not going to happen. So that's why it says that all the tribes of the earth is going to mourn. It says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right. And this is the point right here. Verse 31. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather to get the, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. All right. See his elect, his chosen. All right. From from one. Uh, from uh, from the four winds, from one end of the of heaven to the other, okay, because we are scattered, man. Okay, the elect is not going to be just in America. The elect is going to be all over the world. You have brothers all over the world, man, doing this work, man. You got brothers in Italy, you got brothers in South America, you got brothers in Australia. You know, you, you and and those are just just uh you know uh you know Greg Millstone brothers, man. You know, but you still have other brothers that's still teaching the correct doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashah that may not be a part of uh, Great Millstone. All right? And they may be, uh, you know, in, in Japan, man. You know, in Russia. We're scattered all throughout the uh, four corners of the earth. All right? So Yahweh Shah is coming to, 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 del uh, to, to deliver his elect, man. Okay? And that starts with the 144,000 chosen men. Because through, through those men, the whole nation of Israel is going to be saved. Okay, eventually. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Hosea. Uh, chapter 1. And verse 10 it says yet the number of children that the, the uh, slacker yet the number of children 
of, of Yasharala shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. See, so because we can't, because you know, we, we you know, uh, you know how Esau tries to, to do a census to try to number us. You can't do it. Because in order for you to do that, you need to you, you need to census the whole the whole world. Alright. It says, uh, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living power. Okay, so that's that's where we're at right now. Okay, it's saying that we're not the people of the Heavenly Father. You know, we're just we're we're, we're just some Negroes that, that that we're just some slaves. All right, that goes for the Northern Kingdom too, because the Northern Kingdom was uh, in slavery before the Southern Kingdom. All right, to Esau. Okay, so where it said that we are not, uh, we are not the children of, of the Heavenly Father. That's where that's where they're, they're going to realize that they were wrong. Okay. In Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. You know what? Hold on, real quick. Let's get that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 It says that uh, Are these the people that we had in derision uh, Let's see Let's start from the top uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1 Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account of his labor See we're, we're, those, we're those righteous men Standing in great boldness man Okay, because we're prophesying the downfall of, the, of this wicked society, man. You know, while while two thirds of our people are just going along to get along, man, uh, enjoying Babylon. All right, it says, uh, verse two: When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness, strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for. All right, because all they think for, all all they think is that we're just, uh, you know, we have no end. Okay. We just they just think that we're gonna be niggas forever. Alright, at the bottom forever. Uh verse uh three it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, Is he uh Slakia, this was he who we some had uh had sometimes in derision and a and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the heavenly father? And his light is among the saints. See, we we we, we were put in a position to be uh, 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 at the bottom, man. Okay? And then we were given these things to uh, keep us at the bottom. To keep us in sin so we wouldn't be saved by our, uh, by, by our power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yashad, man. Okay? But a lot of these people don't understand that we are the Israelites. We are the true triple people of the heavenly father. Alright, so now when, when, when they see us rising up When they see the, the, the great deliverance They're going to be like, damn man he, if These are the people, man We thought that there wasn't going to be nothing, man The ones that's in the projects And, you know uh, Working, men getting spit on And, and uh, all this other stuff These are the people you know, because they 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 uh they put us at the bottom. They expected us to stay there. Okay, they expected. See, in verse four it says, "We fools accounted his life madness, and his end to be without honor." Okay, so uh, that's that's what they were looking for. All right, so let's go back to uh, Hosea. Okay, so it says verse at the bottom of verse ten. It says. Uh, uh, and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Then the children of, of Judah, okay, Yahweh, and the children of Yasharala, Israel, uh, be uh, be gathered together. All right, and that's that great deliverance, okay? Yahweh Shai came to uh, separate the, that middle wall, uh, uh, that, that partition, okay, to bring the tribes back together. All right, and it says, uh, uh, and appoint themselves one head, and that one head is Yahweh Shai, okay, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, <clears throat> and they shall come up out of the land. All right, for their, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. All right, that's gonna be a great, um, that's gonna be a great and beautiful day, man. 
well, all when, when the remnant, okay, out of all tribes, is going to be uh, delivered, man. All right, let's go to uh, um, let's see, what's another one? Uh, Jeremiah, uh, twenty-three. In verse three, it says, "And I will gather the remnant of my flock." Out of all countries You see out of all countries Whether I have driven them And I will bring them again to their foes And they shall be fruitful and increase You see so the remnant is going to be Is, is going to be uh, uh, Beamed up out of all countries man Alright So it doesn't matter what you what you look like man If you believe uh, And uh, and have the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yashai man You're an Israelite man and you come back to the obedience and, 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 and do these laws, such as commandments to the best of your ability, you're an Israelite, man, no matter what you look like. Because we because as a curse, we were scattered. All right? It says, uh, and they shall be fruitful and increase. It says, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more or be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Okay? So that's what we're doing right now. The, the, Yahweh Bashi is set, setting up shepherds which is the elect 144,000, uh, the, 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 the teachers of a nation, okay? So this is why you see the brothers out here on the street corners, man. All right, because we're feeding the flock. We're feeding the sheep. How was I said in John 7, uh, 21, if you love me, feed my sheep, man. And that's what we're doing. All right? So this is this is, this is is the point, man, you know, that the that the, that Yahweh Bashi Mashai is uh, coming back to, to save the remnant of his people. All right, that's the first. That's the first fruits. Okay, you know what? Uh, real quick, let's go to uh, Revelation eleven. And verse twelve. It says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. Okay. So that's, that's the, uh, that's the deliverance of the, of the remnant. Okay. So, so these, so these nations and, and, uh, and, and these, and two thirds are, because two thirds of our people are considered, are considered enemies. Okay. Two thirds of our own people of the nation of Israel are considered our enemies. Why? Because they've taken on the philosophy of Esau. They're, they're, they're worshiping the image of the beast. Okay? So they're they're considered enemies. Alright? So the, the one the, the righteous uh the remnant is gonna get is gonna get beamed up into those chariots, man. The remnant is gonna hear that those words come up hither. Okay, and they ascended into a cloud, which is a chariot. Okay, and the, and, the, and our enemies beheld them. All right, so not everybody's going to get raptured, man. Esau is not getting raptured. You know, contrary to what the Christian uh, doctrine tells you, there's no there's no such thing. Okay, because we go to uh, what's that? Uh, Revelation fourteen and verse twelve. It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father and the faith of Yahweh Shai. All right? So that, that's that's why. Because these, these Christians don't keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father to the best of their ability. All right? And they don't they don't have the faith of Yahweh Shai, man. They have the faith of good old JC, man. Good old Jesus Christ. Okay? But you got to have the faith of Yahweh Shai, man. The, the, uh, the, the, deliver, the Savior and the, deli the, uh, the Deliverer of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, uh, Yahweh Shai said in John that the, that uh, in in, in uh, the book of Saint John that that the, that the Most High is a spirit and they that worship Him must worship worship Him in spirit and in truth, man. You got you got you got to understand what the truth is. Okay, and the remnant uh, will 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 uh, understand what the truth is, man. All right, let's go to. Uh, Uh, 
uh, Zechariah 13 in verse 8 and it shall come to pass in, that in all the land saith the Lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third part shall be left therein and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried they shall call on my name and I will hear them I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power all right so that's that remnant man that's that 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 remnant that's been set up that's been set aside okay that's that's going to be marked uh for exemption exemption from judgment okay so only a remnant will be will be delivered out of this man this is why it's important not to not, not to make any terror to turn to the lord man what's that uh Sirach chapter 5 Let me see and Let's start at verse 6 It says Say not his mercy is great He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins Okay So we, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't walk around Saying that we, we're going we're gonna to keep being sinners Because the most high is uh, mercy is great. We know that's not that's not how it works, man. The scripture saying uh, in Hebrews that he died once for man. Yahweh Shai died once for man. So when you keep sinning, when you keep doing these things, you keep putting Yahweh Shai back on that cross, and that's not what he came to do. Okay. Um. Verse seven. Uh, make no to, to make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in our security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? So this is why it's important to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shad now, man. And make and make no terror means don't mean it don't wait. Okay, because it's in your security, because you think that the, the Lord's mercy is great, you're gonna be destroyed, man, because Yahweh Shah said that he's coming back as a thief in the night. Okay? Yeah, you get and you'll get judged for that, man. You think that everything is all good, you can wait to the last minute to repent. It, it don't it don't work like that, man. The scripture saying uh in Isaiah 55, seek you the Lord while he may be found. That's what we do, man. He's being he's he's able to be found right now. Okay, and the and the remnant are are are, are gonna seek the Lord before it's too late, man. And uh Uh, Salakia, uh, in uh, verse seven, and in and in and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance is when uh, is during uh, World War Three, man. Okay, when those nuclear bombs is, is being set off in the air, man. Okay, and this is why this is why you have Shah said in Proverbs one that he will laugh at your calamity, he will mock when your fear cometh, man. Because when you see those missiles in the air, it's a wrap. All right, it's a wrap. But the but the remnant is gonna is gonna already be exempt from all that. They're gonna already be marked for exemption. That's why the scripture is saying, uh, it's, I, I think it's Psalms ninety one, uh, that ten thousand shall fall at thy right side, but shall but uh, no torment shall touch thee. Okay, because they're part of that that elect number, man. That the, the remnant is gonna is gonna be covered by Yahweh Bashim Yashad. Okay, but the but the the ones that's 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 making that's tarrying to turn to the Lord are gonna are gonna perish in the day of vengeance, man. All right, let's go. Do I want to get one more? Let's get one more. Uh, Romans nine. In verse 27, it says, Esaias also cries concerning Yasharala, though the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand, sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. Alright? So the so the so this 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 place is gonna be uh uh the Babylon the Great is gonna be wiped off the face of the map, man, in, in one hour. It's gonna be a short work, man. That's all it's gonna take. Okay? So that remnant is gonna is gonna return to your how about you shot before all this happens, man. Okay? 
the remnant, that's what that's what you how Bush and Bashad is coming to do is is to is to save his elect. Okay, starting with the 144,000 chosen men, which is the tabernacle of David. Okay, and then the the, the, uh, the righteous one third whom the, whom the Lord will have mercy on them. And, and, and in order to receive that mercy, uh, and first off, you have to have the faith of Yahweh Shai, okay? And then you have to, you know, you have to make a call on an election shirt, man. Okay? We don't want to play around with the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, the scriptures say that that uh, the harlots and stuff and the publicans will be, uh, will be, will be uh, make it to the kingdom of heaven before the Pharisees, you know, but we don't want to play around with Yahweh Shai, man, shot, man, because we don't know. Okay. So make no terrier, man. Okay, to be to be part of that number, man. To be part of that uh that elect hundred forty four thousand chosen men. Go out there on the highways and hedges and do the work. You know what I'm saying? Do the things behind the scenes. And you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of women, man, you gotta you gotta you you, you gotta do the work too, man. You gotta uh, have the faith and and and, and uh and, and do the do the work to the best of your ability. Alright, so most I want this was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem or Double honor to the elders of Possible Great Millstone. Once I call me Sharala, I'm Baba Ball. Shalom.